What up, Space Gamers? Space Gamers! It's the final frontier. Space Gaming, the final frontier. We have a bit of a weird setup today, so the I, chat's gonna be weird. Yes, I got a new graphics card. Yay! I don't mean to brag, but it's super good, and now my computer is way better. Yeah. But in my excitement to plug up and plug in the new graphics card, I didn't realize that it doesn't have a DVI port. And mm -hmm. my second monitor is a Cintiq, which uses DVI. Yeah. So I don't have a second monitor right now with which to monitor chat. So we're using my iPad to monitor chat. And uh, I can't see Streamlabs while I'm playing. So it's all going to be up in the air. Yep. Um, also, Caitlin Chesky and AP Mess subscribed. Yes, and it was AP Mess's 12th month. 12th. 12th month. Happy one year. But the most important thing is I got a new graphics card. I can play games on high graphics now. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. game, every game, high graphics. Yes. Full gaming. Full gaming. And Julia is getting her new computer parts. Most of them are already here. And the final one comes in on Wednesday. Yeah, we're just waiting for my chipset. And then we can start doing streams where we're both playing on our computers. Ooh, you. Yes. So we can play more of those types of games that I'm very excited about. Barbarian Boy. Thank you, Barbarian Boy. For the six months. You're, also, Libaloo. You beautiful Barbarian Boy. You beautiful Barbarian Boy. Crack open a cold one. It's time to game. I got, um, I got no water. Crack open a water. Hydrate. <coughs> Planet Fiction's 13th oh, month. <coughs> the sub was mentioned. <coughs> I'm sure this is exactly how they wanted it mentioned, was you hacking and coughing you? while you say it. Uh, sorry we missed the plant fiction, but thank you so much for the 13th month. Yes. That's the baker's dozen of months. It is. Mad Veggie Burger also subscribed, and Biscuit Tornado subscribed. Thank, thank you both you so much. Both. Um, I guess the last piece of business before we begin this brand new game I'm very excited to play mm -hmm. is I think we're going to try to do a new time for our Wednesday streams. Yes. Um, so as not to be at the same time as Dimension 20. Yeah. Just because I know a lot of you are excited about Dimension 20 and I don't want to, I don't want to create Tension. bad blood. Tension. I don't want to create bad blood. So I think we're going to go earlier. Um, Leo Will Art 2121 gifted a tier one sub. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. I think we're going to go earlier. Um, so we might do 7 to 9 p.m. Because D20 of, starts at 9, right? D20 starts at 9 or at 10 or something. 9 or at 10, whatever. We're going to try to go earlier. We're going to try to go earlier just so y'all can see D20. So we're going to see how that goes. Um... And we'll, we'll test that out. Maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it'll be cool and good. Maybe it'll be good for you Europeans who are up at like 3 in the morning to watch us. They did take our time slot, GF Whitaker. But they did. But it's one of the situations where like it's a company. Yeah. And they're trying to get like a Twitch thing going that's like there are streams like every night. Yeah. So there's not going to be any time slot that's not taken. Yeah. Um, and the people who decide made those decisions have no idea we even have a stream. So... Croquettish Hope. Croquettish Hope? Subscribe to the tier one. Coquettish Hope. Yeah, I almost read it as Shopee. I almost read it as Shopee. Let's play the game. Let's play the game. I'm excited to play The Outer Worlds. This is the new um, spacefaring RPG from Obsidian, the developers mm. who made Fallout New Vegas. Yes. And um, other ones and that other people really like yes i'm excited to play it well you're gonna play it i'm excited to play it when my computer works i'm gonna play it on normal mode good subtitles on subtitles on subtitles Show bark on. subtitles hell yeah Bar oh that's just like words spoken outside of conversations uh, it's not really literal bark. It just for maybe it's literal barking sometimes yeah maybe <gasps> look at that poster not even enough time to read the poster. Nope, there it is again.
own hibernation chamber, you'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. I'm glad he pronounced Halcyon for me because I was going to pronounce it wrong. Halcyon. How are you going to pronounce it? Halcyon. Yeah, that would have been wrong. Hell's, Hell's Scion. Hell, Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Scion. Hell's Scion is a dope thing to say, though. <laughs> Up the game volume. Got, got it. it. You're going to have to look at this for a second while I do it. Yeah, we get to make a new character. That's going to be the first hour of this stream, I hope you all know. Is us making a character. It would be if I were playing. You know I'm gonna make the prettiest boy that's ever lived when I play. And you know I'm gonna make a badass lady. Yeah. Phineas Vernon Wells wanted crimes against the colony. I love when it's stated as crimes. This guy did crimes. Of thousands of colonists he jaywalked once in the colony. Forever. He's been being gay and doing crimes. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a character build now. Attributes, huh? I got six points. People are asking if we can do eight to ten. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. We'll figure it out for sure, and we'll update you on Twitter or whatever. Just eight to ten is prime dinner for us hour. Yeah, we'd have to really rush to get food inside of our bodies fast enough. Whereas if we do seven to nine, we could just wait and then eat when the stream is done. Yeah, but 10's too late. But 10's too late. Something to think about. Something to think about. Strength. Melee weapon damage in the amount you can carry. Dexterity. Melee attack speed. And ranged weapon reload speed. Intelligence is critical hit bonus damage. It affects long guns. So a cool thing I've heard about this game is that... You know how in, like, Fallout or whatever, you had, like, all your skills... Mm -hmm. so then they're all separate, right? Yeah. So, like, you could upgrade, like... Weapon, normal weapons, or energy weapons, or explosives. Right. In this game, things are all under a category. So if you're leveling intelligence, you're getting all of these things up to a certain point, okay. like, which is like level 50, right. and then they become individual at that point. Oh, um, it's, like, it's like school. So you start broad, and then get specific once you actually have an idea of what everything is for. Yeah, you only start picking a major... Towards the end there. Exactly. Which I think is a very smart a very smart choice. Someone said that this game features uh, uh, an ace lesbian. So that's pretty dope. I have heard that as well. Her name is Parvati. Ooh, that's a cool I name. believe. Um, okay. I think what I want... Oh, it's always so hard to choose. The last time you had to build a character through stats, you made an addicted, you made an addict idiot. You made a strongman addict idiot. I want some charm. Yeah. I want... Allegretta says you made a dumbass. To be fair, we didn't make the dumbass. We chose the dumbass. We, we chose the dumbass. Mmm... Let's get some perception. People want to know how low your intelligence can go. You're a few stars short of Below average. <laughs> he was just making fun of you. Um, apparently, if you are very dumb, mm -hmm. I'll have to use you actually unlock me. dumb dialogue options. <laughs> There's a whole set of dialogue options for being incredibly dumb. Amazing. But I don't want to be incredibly dumb. No. I say follow your heart on all these. Follow my heart. The thing is, do I want to be really strong? Do I want to be really strong and charming? What if I'm really strong and charming? You're Gaston. What if I'm what if I'm Lady Gaston? What if you're Lady Gaston? 
This one seems promisingly resistant to physical torture. I'm gonna be very strong and very charming. <laughs> and everything else is fine. Everything else is average. Let's go. Okay, let's see. I got points to put into these these things here. People are saying you are already incredibly strong and charming. Thank you. I'm gonna take melee. A pugilist. How exciting. I'm not using guns in this game. I'm gonna hit people with sticks. No one charms like Gaston shoots aliens like Gaston. And then we'll take uh, dialogue. You could make a vicar doubt the law. I'm strong and I'm charming. That's me. Everything else sucks. And who cares? Oh, aptitude. So this is what I was before. Ew. Beverage Sub service sous chef, technician. That's you. Definitely you, not a bureaucrat. You love to choose the chef. You love a good chef. I do love a good chef, and it does increase melee. Someone, I forgot to tell you, someone made fan art of York and Roxa hanging out. Oh, really? Doing cool fight poses. That's amazing. They would get along. Yeah, they would. I imagine their conversation is that gif of I Christian Bale and Kermit just nodding at each other. Material. Yeah. I'm going to be a sub sous chef. Nice. Or I was a sub sous chef. Appearance. Nice, Cam. Let's go, gamers. Oh, you're Let's already, go. I'm already hot. You're already a red hot lady. This Oops, I'm thing. already hot. Oopsies. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So many op Whoa. She looks scared. Surprised. She does. I need, like, a look of confidence. Looks like a confident. That's a pretty s no. strong face. That's not confident. No. That's pretty confident. That's pretty dope. That's pretty confident. Keep All eight right. in mind. Eight. Keep number eight in mind. Eight's in mind. I like eight. All right, yep, eight. Eight yeah. is my choice. Skin tone. Skin tone one was pretty good. Oh. That was that first one was me in the dead of winter. That's me in the dead of winter. Yeah, winter Julia. Winter edition Julia. That's a dope skin tone. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah. This is pretty cool, like a bronze. Yeah, it's like a, a nice, bronzy. a nice warm. Nice warm color. Ooh, cool. Oh. Now you know we gotta get some some piercing eyes because this is a character creator. Mm -hmm. You gotta have gotta piercing do that. eyes. You gotta do that. Oh, those greens are kinda cool. Those greens are cool. Oh, the purple. The, oh, ah. wow. Wow, we. Fear your you know we're making a badass hot lady who's strong. You have to. You have to. I'll be making uh, the prettiest boy in my own playthrough, but. I liked those greens. Where are those yeah. greens? Yep. Nope. These greens. Yeah, so bright. Uh, brow horizontal. Oh, that's oh. just. Uh, 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 uh. I think I like it a little on the wider side. Yeah. Take a walk on the wide side. Brow forward. Me. I said, hey, man. Me. <laughs> Gonna go a little forward with it. I like that. <laughs> Brow vertical. Leo will art says, Julia's light eyes, Jacob's shiny forehead. <laughs> to be fair, my forehead is usually shiny as well, but I cover it with hair. Check this out. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Give a little eyebrow wiggle. That's like when people tell me something they think is interesting in a meeting, and I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Mm. You think that's interesting, nice. huh? That's yeah. cool, I guess. <laughs> Every time I do that, the eye drift. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I don't know, like, <clears throat> what is normal anymore. Or, yeah. you know, not normal, but. I like them a little wider, I think. Yeah. 
B. W. Ni. W. Bleh. W. Ni. Mm. We're yeah. gonna stay right in the middle on that one. Mm -hmm. Eye vertical. <laughs> So, so a lot of people can do the eyebrow wiggle, but not yeah. a lot of people can do the eyeball wiggle. <laughs> How you doing? Hold on, I need to see you over this corner about half an inch. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. What are my neighbors up to over there? Oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, never mind. I changed my mind. Hey, buddy, my eyes are down, down here. My eyes are down here now. I like them a little lower. That looks good. Jaw vertical. I like um, Magic short... Impact wants to know if like we can be gay jaw. in this game. You Is can, there romance in this game? You can be gay in any game if you put your mind to it. That's not true. That's not true. Um, I don't know if there's romance in this game or not. I'm not sure. If there's romance, I'm going to say there probably is. I would imagine that there is. Options? Uh, if there's romance. Romance. Customize your character. Don't be shy is what it says on the bottom of the screen. And I love that. Mouth size. There is no romance, says Magister Entropy. I love tiny mouth. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you a thing or two. Wait. It's kind of like in the maybe slightly bigger than center. Mouth vertical. B. 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 Oh man, she's hot. People are saying my tiny mouth because I do have a tiny mouth, but also. Well, you make it very tiny. You don't have a tiny mouth. You make it very tiny. I do have a pretty small mouth. Oh my god, old mouth. Who are you? Well, you always like look like you're trying to hide your lips at all costs. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Ladolino, thank you for the sub. I'm sorry I butchered the pronunciation of your name, but that's Whoa. what happened. Whoa, that's a cool Whoa. nose. Whoa. I like that outturned nose. Ugh. It's dope. Ugh. It's a weird motion Ugh. to see. <laughs> My snip senses are going off. I smell a coward. I, I like the, the curved out nose. It's cool. <laughs> it is actually really cool. It's a cool profile. I think I want it to just be a little less, but definitely in that direction. Now you've given her what Nathan would call an average nose. A normal nose. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta really work on my, uh, my breathing techniques. Maybe we bring it out just a little more. Yeah. 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 That stays there. Cheeks. Mm -hmm. cheeks. I love a slider that just says cheeks because I don't like, know what, what it's going to yeah, do. What does to that mean? Whoop. Oh. The answer is not like super much. Well, look at it from a three quarters. I kind of like this, like a little bit sunken look. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to sink him in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's dope. She's dope. Let's get to hair. We got 30 hairstyles to look through, and I, for one, Hell could yeah. not be. All right, I am happier. fond of number one. Me too. Dope. Oh, oh but number two. But that, oh. Oh. All right, number two is winning oh, for me. Oh, come on. Okay. That's okay. good, too. That's a good, strong that's look. That's good, too. Okay. Oh, you know. Oh, ooh, the cut. The that's cut also in. really cool. Oh, cool silhouette. As it turns out. That's oh, also cool. cool. Profile. Four might be winning for me right now. This oh, is, hello. This Ready is for the, a business meeting. This is the Julia one. That's the that's the me, yeah. I will be putting my boy in that. You know it. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's Look at neat. This, the hair texture. Do you want to make the so hair nice. lighter so that we can just see it a little bit better? It uh, might be a little... It's bad as, uh, it's bad as light as we're going to get, huh? Looks like it doesn't really get that light. No. That one's pretty light. We okay. Can see yeah. a little better now we can this. see a little bit better. All right. Cool. 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 Baka says cool. it's 3 a.m. Cool. here in South Africa. Have a good sleep. Sleep well. Oh, I love the kind parade. Of a ringlet thing. Yeah. This is not a ringlet girl though. 
Oh, that's cool as hell, though. That's a pretty. That's some pretty rad braids. That's actually. a rad braid. Okay. Yeah. Look at how shiny. Wow. It looks like a fish's scales. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's okay. cool. That's dope. Damn, they did good with hair in this game. Yeah, they really did. Who are you? Unlike every other game with hair. Prof Dresser. Thank you for the sub. This is cool, too. Oh, shit. I love the asymmetrical. Oh, that's cool. These updos. Why hasn't a game gotten hair right up until this game? Yeah, I know. These hairstyles are great. And they look, like, right. Like, this is, this is making me be like, oh, ga you can do video game hair. Just every game has decided to be this an idiot the, with it. I cut my own bangs. Yeah. I'm going through a crisis. I cut my own bangs. Okay. It's kind of just kind of a blowback sort of. A Severus Snape. Uh, I do like a messy pushback. Messy pushback. Ooh, wild. Bit of a wild widow's peak. Yeah. Oh. Oh, a Dapper Daniel. Ooh, a Dapper Daniel. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I just love the shimmer. The shimmer is fantastic. Whoa. Slick back. Oh, my boy might be having that. Oh, uh, cool. That's cool. a bun. Cool, cool bun. <gasps> oh, but I love that one too. Come on. This How am I really gonna cool. pick? It's short slick. They have all the Julia styles in here. They have all here. the Julia. <laughs> this is Julia Styles the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I like this one too. The short, short oh. undercut two tone. That is really good. She looks a little military with that oh, other one. Oh, that was a little less military. Oh, it's cool. your hair. It's kind of like my hair a little bit. Just straighten back. Mohawk. Oh, dope. Every game's gotta have a mohawk. Mandatorily. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're balding. That's fine. And it's gone. Oh, damn. But that looks good, too. Who are you? Gotta respect the Who are you? Walls. Mostly skipped it a tier one sub to Vegan Luigi. I mean, I'm not... Thank you so no, much. There's no... Like, it's gotta be this. It has to be that one. For me. Yeah. And you know what? For me, Silver, working on me. Silver's working. I'm, I am gonna go through some options here. That was color 40. Let's see what else we got. The tones... I kind of like some of the wilder colors. They're a little subtle, which I like. I think, yeah, I think the silver... The might silver. Be it. The silver was cool. Future, but not too future. Yeah, I like that. There's eyebrow styles, but I really like these eyebrows as they are. Let's get through them. Our number one. I like a thick brow. Mm hmm. Three's pretty good. Mm hmm. Seven's pretty good. Oh, I like 11, though. 11's good, too. Oh, 13. Now that's some chonks. Oh, that's some well manicured chunks. That's well manicured chunks. I actually chunks. really liked those. I respect a well manicured chunk. I like chunk. those a lot. I don't want them to look too kind. I kind of want to have a, you know, we're having fun here, but I'll beat your ass sort of look. What is going on? This is the big O eyebrows. Yeah, it is. Oh, little, little shave-ins kind of oh, works shave with the hair. A little bit. The hair shave-in. Yeah. yeah. I think it's distracting. Now that's distracting. Oh, uh, yeah, that's distracting. Those are some real solid yeah. brows right there. Those are good. No brows. Okay. What was it, 13? Yeah. I like these manicured chonks. Manicured chonks. Let's stay with that. Facial hair? I don't think I'm gonna give her wow. facial hair, but I do want to know what the options are. Mutton chops. Ooh. Damn. Dashing. That is dashing. Who's she reminding me of right now? Michael B. Jordan, a little bit from uh, a little bit, but also from um, Black Panther specifically. But also the dude. Oh. -ho. From Dragon Age. The one who has the curly mustache. Dragon Age. Oh, Inquisition. yeah, my boyfriend. Yeah, Alistair. Ev everyone's boyfriend. Everyone's boyfriend, Alistair. No, not Alistair. Not Alistair. Alistair's blonde boy. What's his name? Dorian. Dorian. Yeah, Thank Dorian. You. Not Alistair. Alistair's no one's boyfriend. <laughs> All right. Features. All right. Makeup. Right now, we're currently at the age zero. 
See if there's any cool. That's pretty rad. It's rad. I like four. That makes her look sad. A little bit concerned. Damn. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Damn, we got some strong looks in here. They got like a, a beauty team on this. Yeah, it's strong look central. Good hair, good makeup Oh, cool. Looks. They've got some of the... Uh, oh, yeah. What's that called? The, the term? Chat's got to tell me everything. They got to tell me who Dorian is. Is it... What this skin Imitega? thing is called. No. Vitiligo. Vitiligo. Thank you. Thank you. Freckles. Freckles, lots of freckles. Lots of freckles. We're, our brains are busted today. My brain's busted every day. Every, oh God, is that a nosebleed? Yeah. Constant nosebleed? Mm. I don't like to have like permanent blood or bruises on my character, because these people are gonna have <laughs> bruises for years. How much I'm playing this. Yeah, I know. I really liked, was it number four? The red? The red was super cool. Red's super cool. I'm really leaning red. Yeah. Dirt. Ah. Oh! You know, we can do without this. You don't want to just have a real dirty, slimy face all the time? No, nah, I'm good. Scar. Now, a good scar can really... I'm always a fan of a lip scar. ...do all the difference. Cheek scar. Joker smile! Unacceptable. It was like an eye... A scar and a mouth scar. Oh, neck scar. Damn, that tells a story. Who are you? Yeah, it does. The Dossier subscribed as a two month sub. All right, I think no scar. No, no scar. scar. No scar. Age. I'm old now. Jancy True is here. But I'm still very cool. I've kept up with the trends. Now I want a young. This she's in the prime of her life right yeah. now. Yeah. Now we gotta name this rad lady. Oh yeah, we gotta name her. I mean, unfortunately, her name is Tummy. Tummy boy. Just Tummy. Just Tummy, okay. We have our hot lady Tummy here. Gotta be Tummy. Everyone's saying Lady Gay, but it's Tummy. Uh, next. Tummy. Tummy. So I'm very strong and I'm very charming. Let's yes. go. Let's game. I mean, I would look at that lady and be like, yeah, I want to talk to you. But also, she's so strong. But also, she's so strong. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. You've been hand-plucked from the Matrix body harvesting thing. Time to go on an adventure for the ages. Like in the Matrix. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. So you know this game's about like everything is, is owned by corporations. I know nothing about it's this It's all game. about corporations. Space I know, corporations. I know nothing about this game other than uh, the ability to make a really hot boy. And you know I'm going to do that. You know that was enough to keep me in this game. It's sort of a parody on capitalism gone wild. Okay. You also said it was a mix between Fallout and Mass Effect. Yeah. And that got me in. Yeah. They ask us to imagine a fantasy world where everything is owned by corporations. Mm, totally a fantasy. Never heard of such a thing. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, 
Yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying. Love the special concoction. So, Me too. Not fully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Huh? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, Kiki D is continuing the gift stuff they got. So thank you. Thank you, Kiki D. Smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Go Hi, Zertalin. Good luck. You know, the humor is reminding me a lot of the original Borderlands. What? A little bit. The humor in this game. Like the visual comedy. It's reminding me of Borderlands. Borderlands? Borderlands. That's the one about the bookstore. Yeah. <laughs> I love this poster. Is okay, this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, Everything moves in a very, like, original Borderlands His way. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all colonists are counting on you. He has given us not one moment of his day. Yeah, I don't know what's happening to me right now. He's just like, hey, I saved you. Killed a bunch of people to do so. That's on your conscience now. Also, go save some more people. Goodbye. Go figure it out on your own. You gotta go to the Borders lands. Go to the Borders lands. Mysteries on the Borders lands. Ah, you've landed good. Beautiful close by. landscape. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Space oh, bar times no two equals dash. Whoop. Won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? He got gooped. We yeah, gooped this sure guy. I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Space Nasty way too. to go. Looks to me like shift equals dash. I'm just looking at the icons at the top. By your health bar. Oh, I see. It's, it's like a like a like an in air. Like a jumpy dodge. A jumpy dodge. All right, first challenge. <laughs> Garbage boy wants to know if you know that W A S D lets you walk. I can do it. I know I can do it. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. What if I don't do good? Breathe, <laughs> breathe, get, breathe. Get. Ah! Wow. Oh, look at that guy. Hello. Hello. He had a little name. Goodbye. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I want to eat you. Yeah, I'm gonna do What's it. What's on fire down there? Everything. Oh. Borders lands. Borders lands. I hate every time they tell you how to sprint, because I'm like, I'm going to get chased. Are you showing me where to go, buddy? Oh. Sneak. Yeah. No one will find me. Adreno. Thank you. Where's your legs, bud? Uh oh. Uh oh, where's your legs? Uh oh, seems like you had some and now you don't have any and that's a problem. I'm gonna sneak past enemies. It's a problem if you don't know where they went. There they are. There's some some bright doggos. It's some lion dogs. You'll never find me, lion dogs. That's the the group that's in Metal Gear, right? The lion dogs. The lion dogs. You don't know where I am. I'm in the tall grass with the Pokemon. <laughs> Professor and Oak. And Cassandra from Assassin's Creed. She's here too. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, Spoopios. See now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. That and your weird concoction, my dude. Whee! 
Ow. Ow. I've consumed one Adreno. That'll happen sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey! There's a dude! Hey! You, come here. Do you have any... You've oh. tried the best now. Ooh. Oh, he's the handsome boy. The Spacer's choice. Oh, Hi, God. cutie. Oh, I can patch him up because I got medical five. Yeah. Oh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. What? What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Thought you were handsome enough, huh? Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I just I mean, pointed my smoochable together, lips right? at them. And I went, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And does it work? <laughs> they still attack. the exit with those canisters. What's this about marauders? Flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Harry Potter has ruined me from the word marauders. Because I kept picking the marauders, Matt. I'm going to persuade you. Give me your gun, and I'll go help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. I don't. Got some spare ammo. My gun skills are bad. <laughs> in my side. Here, you can have my saber too. Oh, the saber is what I need. I'm a sabre. All spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Wow, all for the brand. Where am I? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a That's spacer's a choice level. community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Dun, 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 Be sure to stop by a provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. Seven lizards in a coat said, "Oh, he's hot and dumb." <laughs> My face. Uh, hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company something about his face reminds me of The Sims. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. I have a gun. This is too much power. Hey, can you... Damage my ears! Can you test something for me? What's that? Can you scroll back on the wheel on the mouse? Nothing? No. Okay. Why? Well, in Fallout, that's how you went into third person. Or how you could go into third person. So we could uh, look you, at hot lady. You can't go into third person in this game. What was the point of us being hot? I'm sure if we're in the menu or whatever. Oh. Yeah. There we are. There we are. So we can still look at Hot Lady whenever we please. Saber, please! Who are you? Who are you? Oh, yes. Nugget Maber loves Gacha. unions. Gacha. Gifted a tier one sub to... Gacha. Gacha. Garz... Ungarzak. Thank you. Gacha. I'm gonna murder some dudes. We're a hot buff lady with a sword now. Uh. Ooh. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain possesses processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Stand and still drain your TTD member very slowly while moving the attack. Drain it faster. TTD made it refresh slowly over time. Who are you? You got it. El Reeves, subscribe to the Prime. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you can shoot the thing. Ooh, the blow. Oh. oh, how do you block? Doesn't matter. It's right click. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. The sword looks like a Nerf sword, and I kind of love it for that. Give me, give me all you got. Hacking and picking locks. Yup. I can't do that. I can get that. Give me these nanners. Who are you? Wizard Agent Zero. Thank you for the sub. Give me all your stuff. Fish sticks. Hell yeah. Fast ration, sliced bread. 
Sliced bread. We forgot to pick up sliced bread at the supermarket today. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> 100 DPS. It's the same pistol. Guys, I got my flu shot today. As you can tell by my swollen shoulder and my bandage. My shoulder is very swollen. I was looking at them. I was comparing them. Y'all, go get your flu shots. It's important. Unless you medically can't. But having the flu sucks. Go get go get the flu shot. Yeah! You wow. fool. You really sliced that... Come on, then. That dude. Oh, they're running at you. Ooh. Oh, you went for the back of the knees. Yeah, give me all There's that. There's a dude shooting you. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Ooh, nice. Keep up with your vaccines, y'all. Because you think it's not a problem until it is a problem, and then it's a big problem. So keep keep up with them. I got gear. You got gear. I think you got clothes. Yeah. Three armor. Four, Four armor. armor. Boom. Oh, oh I look nice. even cooler now. Well. Well. All right. You can hide helmets in the menu. Good. Mad Veggie Burger says I pass out when I get shots. How do? Um breathe have a lot of water beforehand have a little sugary snack after try to meditate that's what i do i'm terrified of needles the ship i try to just talk through it drive my doctors insane get over here before you get yourself killed i'm not getting myself killed we've been kicking ass lady don't know where you came from stranger but you best keep your head down there's marauders hereabouts and worse landing violators gall on that rung leech Landing in a veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Don't say that he, you helped him, because he's not allowed to accept help. I'm wondering if it would get him in trouble or get him fired. No backseating. I would have said I was going to help, so I'm doing that. Okay, sorry. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to he receive medical it. aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know. Here's the thing. Those ladies also a couple hot. Of winks to catch my breath. Everyone's hot. Stretch my legs, son. It's just a game of hot people. Mm, I can persuade, I can lie. You can intimidate. I can intimidate. I'm gonna persuade. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Let's go. go. Where, where are you going? Okay, there you go. Got him. Who Easy peasy. Who are you? A sleep monster. Subscribe to the tier one sub. Thank you. Where's that other guy? I'll take your meat for a special treat. I'll take the meat. Also, since we're still talking about it in the chat, flu shots, you don't really feel them. It feels like your muscles cramping. Yeah, they don't hurt. It's over very fast. Yeah, they last like three seconds, I think. But herd immunity Please is important. Be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Alright. I'm not a Marauder. I'm cool. I'm cool and chill. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. Computer's I am hot. Ada, 
The autonomous digital... Damn, the computer's hot too! Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Oh, that's drawing. Airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, Don't. three, two, one. Don't. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. You did your best, Ada. You tried. Is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne is dead, and I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? That's awesome. I'm Captain Hawthorne now. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers. Welcome to me. I'm Captain Hawthorne. I love Ada. I'm Tummy Not Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Ada's great. Is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I'm not going to find a part like that sitting in a garage. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. You're Best welcome. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I'm level two. You're level two. You level up. I'm proud of you. I've got enough experience to level up. Way. I can upgrade my skills. Right, I want to level up. Okay. I want to level up. Okay. So, like, now I can distribute points. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should get some ranged. Yeah. And I should get... My melee is, is really high. I think I need more ranged. And probably some defense. Mm -hmm. Take a couple of those. And maybe... Oh, so you get... The more points you get in, you unlock these skills over here. Mm -hmm. Power and sweep attacks. Don't know how to do that. I have it unlocked, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, I don't care much about stealth. Good work, Vegan Luigi. Go get your flu shot tomorrow. Also, should be stated, a lot of places don't even use a needle sometimes. They got non-needle options now for flu shots. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Perks. Yes. Companion abilities. I don't oh have God, any companions. So cool. I don't have anything. Poiks, shut up, Auntie Cleo. I know how to click things. <laughs> All right, let's see. 50% base health. More time dilation. More damage when alone in party. No, I don't want that. Walk speed. Sprint speed. 
weapon durability loss, companion crit chance, vendor prices, XP from companion kills, fast travel when encumbered, carrying capacity. All of these sound pretty good. I like fast travel when over encumbered because that would be me. Yeah, you'll you'll be over encumbered, but I won't be over encumbered. Yeah, that's true. I'm always tempted to take more XP just because that's something that will. That's good across the good board. across the board. Yeah. That'll help me for the rest of the game. Go with it. So I'm gonna take it. Give me that perk. Give me more XP. Journal. I noticed you have a reputation. A rip. Yeah. What are you? Oh my god. I have to do this to make it go away. Fast travel, quest screen. Well, maybe you can figure out the sweep attacks or whatever. Armor management. Weapon management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to game. Sweep attacks. Is sweep attacks in here? Probably. Melee attacks. Melee power attacks. Hold the attack button. Here's a strong sweep attack. All right. Perfect block. Weapon switching. I got it. Um, I know everything. Companion, but I don't have any companions. No one likes me. Okay. Perfect block. Perfect block. Perfect block. Perfect block. Perfect block. Perfect block. One hunt. What else we got on our Due ship? Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Boo. All right. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel. This reminds home, me intensely of Firefly. Yeah. Saltuna fillets. Might as well leave it here if this is gonna be your ship. So these are like buff, buffies. Mm -hmm. Buffies the vampire slayers. Buffies the vampire slayers. Speaking of which, we watched. Scream 2 the other day. Scream 2. Scream 2. I got I've caught on a before. chair. Jacob's Please seen it. Them. I've seen it twice now. The Scream series is very fun. It is actually a good movie series. Let's go. Let's go, gamers. Let's go. What's up? Hey, oh, God. It wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? It is now. You walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours... Well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. I'm gonna lie. All right. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, oh, yeah, so you better sorry. be sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. I will be speaking to your not manager. Too far. Just Getting you a fine for being too high. I'll go past the cemetery. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Goodbye. Do you have anything to say? You have nothing to say. All right. I'm free. Let's go see what's over here. Me. Me. I knew there'd be stuff. We got bodies. Ooh. Shovel. What is sh a shovel a weapon? Mm -hmm. Didn't have any stats on it. What's shovel? This is all the same. Whoa! Okay. Oh, it's weak. Oh. It's weak, but it is a shovel. So, consider that. Malicious Machination says, SSS, see that quest marker? That's not where we're going. <laughs> no. I wouldn't have found the shovel if I'd gone over there. We have become Shovel Knight. I'm the Shovel Knight. All right, let's go. Let's roll out, squad. Oh. Box. Light ammo. Nice. Stuff over here. Oh, bad boys. You didn't see me. Oh. 
Hello. Hello. Step no one knows I'm here. I am the knight. This person did not hear this other person screaming. Gonna find you! Ah! Yeah! Oh! You can really bonk yeah. them. Wow, they had a lot. They had an assault rifle. They had an Ollie Toxie something. So that's all ammo. Oh, consumables. So this stuff is all buffs. Mm -hmm. I feel like my problem with games is that I don't ever use these. Mm. If anything's like a two minute buff, I just won't use it. Yeah, I'm with you. I usually wind up selling them. That's some quiche. Now that's what I'm talking about. 215 deepers, deeper runies. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Nobody knows where I am. I'm so They're stuffy. certainly gonna know when you machine gun them. Oh, there's a a lot of boys in the yard. Uh oh. Not the best for distance. Oh. Ah. Uh oh. Reload. We got this. Nice shot. All right, so its range is not the best. But it gets the job done. All right. What difficulty are we playing on? Normal. Normal. Nice. I don't really play these kind of games to have an extremely hard time. Yeah, it's true. You checking all the bodies? Well, I'm trying to find the bodies. Well, there was one over there. Did you get that one? Uh, on the right of the... Yeah, right there. Right there. And then you killed one on the hill back there. Behind the tree. I'll be taking that. What you got in here? Necklace? Necklace. Energy cells. Love it. Oh. I don't have any lock picking ability. So I can't get in that. Nope. One thing I know about this game is that when you have companions and you bring them along, their skills can be used for things that you're not good at. Oh, that's cool. So, you don't have to be good at everything. Just Plasma like rifle. <coughs> Plasma rifle. Worse than the one you have. It is worse. Is the range better? <coughs> What's happening to you? Are you okay? I know, I keep getting something stuck in my throat. It's got higher damage. Why is it? Why is the DPS lower? But less Doritos per second. Is it hurt, damaged, whatever? No, it's one hundred percent condition. It has bigger burns, magazine, higher like damage. That. It fires way slower, probably. Yeah, probably so. Good night, Elon. Who else has goodies for me? Charges up per shot. Oh. Says garbage boy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. A ladder. You thought you could hide from me. But you could not. Take all of that. Pick up apple the apple juice. juice. There's a skillet up here and a chair. Someone was just enjoying the, the view. The oh, hello. The view. Ah. Peaceful. There's my ship. All right. Onwards and upwards. This 
That is so pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh! Oh, hello. Edgewater. I found a town. You found Edgewater. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, got Spagatios. Those dudes were just napping at the bottom of the hill. Sorry, buddy. I don't, I'm almost out of ammo with this gun already. You could have, oh, uh, are those dudes not holding anything? No. Okay. Edgewater. A beautiful town. Oh. Can't go in there. I really wanted to. You tried. Yeah, it's a coffin. That's a coffin, all right. Hey, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? You talking to me? That was a dishonored ass character. Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. That's true, I am wearing marauder's attire. Why'd you say that? It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. It ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. <clears throat> We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Junior in humor. Duel says they've spent this game charming and stealing their way through life. It's a good way to do it. Good way to do it. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I just got unfrozen. <laughs> I would love if that was a dialogue option. I don't know, I just woke up. You offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. What? Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. You're making people pay for their own graves company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Well, I'll collect your fees for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is he a special case? He just is. Look, well, just tell me. <laughs> just make sure he pays up. Vague. You don't get into it. You're asking me to do something. Vague. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. All right, later, jerk. Corporate recruit. Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. I could really go for some salt tuna. Salt tuna. Snalt. Snalt, Walter. Snalt, Walter. Snalt, Walter. Pretty Take game. me to town. Pretty game. Daddy like a pretty game. Oh, Daddy, look at that, that's beautiful. Daddy like a pretty game. This Daddy is like very you game. art. Yep. Based on the old National Parks. Why did I put in my National Parks feeds? I gotta do that. 
this is good first view design. Yeah. When you first enter the town. They really like made this a composition. Yeah, unified color scheme. And pointed you so that you can see some very Yeah. There's the cantina. There's the cannery, which they've been talking about. There's the barber shop they've been talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And overlooking it all. Just well composed also with the The company. The the rings around that planet. But if I come back here, I can find nothing. Nothing. Good art. Those NASA vintage posters were also based off of the National Parks posters. From back in the day. What's this place? Who are you? Baser's choice takes care of its own. Keep your distance, friend. Stick out. No place Hello. A lot of beds in here. Just strewn around the room, huh? Oh. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Are you sick? Why not? Because I'm sick. Oh. Yep. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth the your sick time. sick house. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Listen, we're really hot. So we can do whatever we want. Yeah. No one's going to be mad at me. I'm hot. No one's going to be mad at me for talking to anyone because we're really hot. Listen, I don't mind. I don't know which company you work for. But if it's Spacer's Choice... Boss can still write you up for fraternizing with an incompetent worker. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Crazed Chemist uh, says that they saw that I started watching Hunter Hunter. And re they recently started well, he as well, and they really got into it quick. So they're, they're already in season, season three. three. <laughs> I uh, I'm on episode four. So you're going incredibly slowly. Episode one was a drag. I really like uh, Weird Boy Hisoka so far. Crazy Chemist, I'm glad you're so deep in, though. It's one of my favorites. It's one of the weirdest shows I've ever seen. I'm gonna keep with it. I don't get sick often. It's not the plague you gotta worry about catching. It's my attitude. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague... <laughs> Maybe I should have worked harder. That's true. Maybe I should have taken mm -hmm. more pride. You only life. get sick if you don't work hard enough. Yeah. If you're sick, just work harder. Yeah. You can't blame yourself because you fell sick. That's stupid. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. I will leave you be. Meh. Sick resident. Should we stop dressing as Marauder? Because he said that people might not want that. But the armor is better. But we're in town right now. It seems like no one cares now that I'm in here. Eh. I do want to... Mm -hmm. Yeah! yeah. Now I'm hot. Oh, that's stealing. I stole. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stole. I didn't mean to stole your things. Stop stealing! You trying to get us all in trouble? What do you think you're doing? Uh, I was just leaving. Just keep your fingers to your own self, okay? <laughs> so it does... The people don't like it when you steal from no. them. No! Is what I'm learning. So I'll try to Thief steal... Simulator 2. I'll try to steal less. Oh, says me to chat. Barbershop? Can I go Can in, like, your hair? all of these places? Can no. you change your hair as it goes? Like in the As a ghost? I <laughs> As it goes. Hello! So you can like change up your styles as the game goes? Merciful law. Wow, is this is a British Bake Off contestant. Yeah. Seen one. Wandering into my shop, wearing something you've oh, he's mad about my Rose outfit too. 
Please don't touch anything. Your hands <laughs> I probably should take it off. With germs. <laughs> Everyone hates me. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacer's choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Really three kids in a trench coat said, Julia, IDK, it was the Dorkly podcast or something, but you mentioned All the Light We Cannot See as a good book. And you were so right. Just wanted to say thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. I think I mentioned it on an SSS stream a long time ago. Yes, yeah, a while back. Yeah, I really, really like that book. So good. It's very good. Silas sent me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as my best friend, bitless, the loudest damn car of all time going by outside. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. That's some quality drama, Conrad. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. This guy Tell sucks. Silas Conrad sucks. I can't afford to pay. Not our friend Conrad. That I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for our this Our friend Conrad rules. rules. Yeah, he rules. He's nothing this like Conrad this guy. sucks. Medical rights. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Give him this stuff. Give him. Can you sit in the barber chair? No. 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 What's in that cabinet? Adreno. Are you going to change your outfit or keep it on? I'm changing my outfit. There. There you go. I'm weak and pathetic. And a fool. I'm going to the cantina. Hello! Those guys are in sync. Yep. Um. Your whole look is something else. What are you drinking? She's drinking red. It looks like a like a potion. It does look like a potion. Hey. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us. McDevitt's Canada folk. Use those Taste, the freedom. Taste the freedom. Nothing we can do about that. Sure there is. We can have another zero G. Hey, you. I don't know you. She really whipped up there. What? <laughs> I don't know you. I'm, of course, Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. And what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no this voice actor sounds like someone from Over the Garden Wall. Yeah. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Misreckoned. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems. See, now we're friends because I'm charming. I can get you a drink if you like. Mm. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Who are the deserters? What's this about deserters? 
traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Not so us. already Whatsoever. struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? The term rung leeches is really fun. Because mm -hmm. it implies they're like, they've stuck to one part of the corporate, the corporate ladder, ladder and refuse to climb higher. Yeah. I'll have a drink. Coming right up. What you got? Oh. Merchant skin. That milk? Two hour energy brew, zero G brew, mayonnaise, oh. <laughs> water, dehydrated water. Great. Trip teas. Oh, I could sell some things. Oh, you had a necklace to sell, didn't you? You have like some useless items. Yeah. I can sell one of these guns, probably the one that's broken. Yeah, sell. I could sell the shovel, the socks. You sell one of your three masks. I could sell one of my three masks. I could sell. Here we go, junk. Junk. Candid meat. Canid meat. Not candid. Candid meat. <laughs> candid meat. And earrings, and a necklace, and a corporation service award. Wow. And then I will repair all. I want to repair all. How expensive is it? Repair all. Oh, pretty dang expensive for 1%. Wow, really? Repairing. Damn. All right, well, I'm not going to repair anything then. Oh, I have more I to ask going. you. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. This is like the Truman Show. Yeah, kind of. Where they're working in commercials everywhere. Where's Reed? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. You say that like it's a good thing. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Capitalism rules. All right, I'm out. <clears throat> I'm outie 5,000. What's back here? Ooh, nice wallpaper. Bathroom. Future toilet. It sucks. It sucks. There's no toilet paper. It That's just true. Sucks uh, the dookie right off your butt. That's the future. The future is sucking. What's this? Oh, everyone says check behind the toilet. What? Behind the toilet? But this is one of those things you guys say and there's nothing. And I came all the way back in here. What do you mean behind the toilet? Oh! Sealed bundle. What's that? What's... What's... Is it in your what's, journal? What's... What's... Mm -hmm. change really there's more but wait there's more merchant skill sealed bundle a curious bundle discovered near a latrine in the edgewater cantina a note reads if found please return to ludwig miller at the landing pad all right all right i underestimated your chat Good job, chat. I'm sorry I talked poop at you. It's a quest item for later. As it turns out, a bunch of I am the poop. Nothing for us outside of 
There is, I think, a truck outside of our apartment right now. There's definitely a truck outside our apartment. Why does it sound like it's literally outside of our window? It sounds several like several stories up. It sounds like it's in our apartment. Yeah. The general store. Julius Moreau. Hello. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. I need to fix a ship. Where can I find parts? You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's yeah, I know. I gotta go talk with Reed Thompson. I got questions for go you. Right ahead. What's your take on this place, Julius? What? You mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's a uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra Till. Hmm. The blister on my ass is prettier than Edgewater. Telling yourself that won't make it true. You are condescending to me, and I do not care for it. <laughs> I am. You are lucky condescending to, have my to work. me. Lucky to be alive. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Actually, there was. Go right ahead. Anything I should watch out for? Other than yourself? Definitely the wow. Don't get me wrong. Wow. He seems a man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers the vicar. me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. Wow. Unbelievable. So about this plague. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Are you done being delusional, or should I wait? I take umbrage with your choice of phrase. We ain't sick, we're rugged. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. This town sucks. This town sucks. Everyone's brainwashed. That doesn't make any sense. Spend enough time in the Spacer's Choice family, and you will come to understand. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's Choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Wow. And if you don't work hard enough? Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch. And you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. What you got? Music to my ears. He has music. Wow. Oh, wow. Big ol' hammer. Big ol' hammer. Eccentric Mudkip has subscribed with a tier one sub and says, Hey, friends, thanks for keeping me entertained while I'm stuck in bed, sick as butts. Feel sick better. As butts. Feel better, Eccentric Mudkip. Dang. Uh, according to this game, you did not work hard enough. This is all expensive. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not made of money. Saltuna. What's this, a church? Yeah. Space Church. Space Church. Resident, resident. Hey there, Mary. Hey, hey there, there, Mary. Here too often. It's a cool Space Church. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar, is all. The vicar? Where is he? I was told to avoid him. Here he is. There he is. Hi. Yes, what is it? It's the hot the vicar. Outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto vicar. at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Like a spotlight on Name his your face. Yeah. Anything at all. Well lit. Spiritual counseling. This season. He's way better lit than we are on our own the stream. Quickest way out of town. How'd you know I'm an outsider? Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, like a trapped animal. That's good. Great. You seem quite dismissive of the common man for a spiritual leader. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual this dude's awareness wearing, like, space in the town. Yeah, he is. It looks like the currency that's in The Sims. It's the second Sims that I've made. This is but... Simoleons. Yeah, the Simoleons. Isn't it your job to raise that? Yes, 
but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Do you refer to this town as a miserable place? Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. What sort of spiritual advice do you offer? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. I was actually asking what your religion was all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. What does OSI stand for? The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. Okay. How do you talk to the Grand Architect? Prayer, meditation, or what? You don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Just like to point out that you can see the light coming yeah. through the cartilage of his ear. It's so good. Which is, uh, that's a good touch. That's a very good touch. Uh, it doesn't sound like a very motivational religious philosophy. What's there to aspire to? We will to? eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. Okay. How does that work? Tell me more. Well, first there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. All right, I'm looking for a power regulator. Yeah. Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest. Yeah, I gotta to talk to Mr. Thompson. I know. Thompson I know. Oh, and a word of warning: if you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. I'm always cautious. I think you shot at a valley of giant orcish beasts yeah. before, but yeah. I can handle myself better than a vicar. The marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastard snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay a handsome, handsome sum, sum, huh? Now we're speaking my language, Vicar. Yes. Tell me more. Why would you be after a heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to That seems the unlikely, Vicar Max. Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear after this contraband text. I need to know more about this book. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. I do Bacone, like to get written in the lower corner. Money. I'll mark yes. where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. I'll look for the book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Look. Oh. Oh. This is a wild chair. Yeah. First I thought it was like a little kitty chair. What you writing? Stuff. This looks like you're writing over what you already wrote there, buddy. The whole page is written already. Can you look at the chairs that he's sitting in front of? Weird 
film studio cow chair? Yeah. Very strange. Let's get out of this church. Well, I want to quest. I want to find these people to talk to. <laughs> I already talked to that guy. I guess I have to figure out what he could like IOU. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Oh, this is the, the weird weirdo. I found you. Oh, uh, did, uh, this is old did Taika Mr. Waititi. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow, uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Okay, so Abernathy has a plague. Do you want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Hmm. I'm positive you meant something about being plagued. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Uh, constable? Why not? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? Uh, do a good turn for an expiring old man. You know I love quests, Martin. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I'll do anything for quests. I need you to break it. Nab that medicine and bring it back to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got some questions. I'll do what I can. Why can't you buy the medicine yourself? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Beneath the acceptable margin of health. So if you're sick, you can't get unsick. Yeah, you can't get medicine if you're too sick. Obviously. Mm-hmm. That feels about right. In other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that. This sounds like place. a Georgian government policy. Hand. Yeah. What are you talking about the Marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang. I don't really need you to tell me anything. I just murdered them. I advise them. stepping softly. I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? Yeah, why not? I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the blade spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Uh, I'm also here to collect your gravesite fees, though. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. Got him. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. That's not the end. Goodbye. Idea. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> it's a pretty big house. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Whoa. That lady's talking to you. You talking to me? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. What? You both suck. He's got symptoms of something. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. 
No, I'm interested. Let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. So you want me to smuggle you medicine? Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of law-breaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. That's all I can ask of you. Well, see, I feel like I got a choice to make here. Do you steal it for the town? Because she steal... claims she wants to give it to the town. That's true. She could be yeah. lying about that. But Martin Abernathy could also be a crazy person. I just don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. Hello! Love Saltuna. Wow. The Grease Monkey Argo. Oh, there's Reed. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. It's Parvati. You asked why it's taking so long. Seems oh. we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I well, might have well to hot. myself. <laughs> I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass. Look at that dumb hat. <laughs> my ship needs repairs. Only regulator we got is hooked up. Ooh. Oh, Parvati's hot. Parvati's hot too. To got the Riku blast going on. Yup. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. I don't think these people will take kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. Mm. I need them back mm. at their posts. Mm. I need them mm. to come home. Mm. Why? Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. I don't blame those workers for walking out. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell Adelaide, her to go. Adelaide, time her band of come on and join the Adelaide parade. Adelaide, Adelaide. We're going to go to Adelaide's house today. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. What if Adelaide doesn't want to come back? That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return. On a scale from one to ten, how hot do you we think Adelaide is? She's hotter than this guy, the that's for sure. Family. 
If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. I can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. You can absolutely I mean, join me. Up, uh, with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented. And may prove useful to you. Yeah. I could use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Companions. They got combat support, they enhance your skills, they increase your carrying capacity, they have special companion combat abilities. Wow. Hi. Hi, hot lady. Parvati, more like Parhati. Me. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Yeah, that's probably good a good good probably good call on that one. That's probably a good call on that one, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's probably a pretty good call on that one. No worry, we gotta go, let's go. Okay, you're gonna come in the elevator? I don't wanna go down without you. Come on. Get in here. Get, get in. Okay, well. Oh, nope, okay, there you're she is. in. You're in. She walks in, then. I'm guessing the hairpins are for lockpicking? Probably. For locking and picking. Hey, we talk? Sorry. Yeah, we can talk. Let's go. Can we talk? How do you Let's talk. I'm sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like I me. super do want to tag it's along just, like you. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. Uh, what is the other side of the tale? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Can't blame anyone for wanting to leave. Nope. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's <coughs> vicar about it. Max. Talk to the vicar? Let's talk to him again. What do we need to talk to the vicar about? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. The vicar don't care. Him. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Vicar just wants to push something a Scientology on people. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. All right. He Let's asked me it. to find a book for him. Books are for rich folk. I wonder what he wants with something like that. All right, we'll stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you got to make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. That's true. You're wise beyond your years. Where's this person? I, I think that's Who are you? the dude. Who are the you? dude you were just talking to. No, there's someone up here. Did um, I have to vending, vending machine. machine? It was to your right. It's behind you. Oh. What's in here? You can hack them if you have a high hack skill. In... It's all sorts of fun stuff what's, in here. What's that below it? Yeah, what's that? Thug kit. Armor mod. What's one to the right? Mr. Ouch. <laughs> Increases the damage dealt from power attack. These are very expensive. Yes, they are. I don't have any money. We're I'm very poor. I'm wildly poor. Bye, Parvati. Parhadi. Parhadi. 
You, Phyllis. You the new worker? Ooh. Oh, Phyllis, calm down. Quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Tenderfoot. All right. Guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. All right. Gravesite fees. I'm here to collect. Oh, shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. There's dramatic lighting. Yeah, really. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Oh, Phyllis, you're a good one. You're a good person. That's kind of you. I could do without the sarcasm. Oh, wasn't maybe you're not a good one. Of my heart. Law requires delinquent no, you're just a normal fees one. to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. You're just an average one. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handgun aren't the most reliable. Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. Okay. I thought you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. <laughs> I'm the one who found him, you see. So I. <laughs> so that's what it. they mean. Great. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. Oh my god. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. <laughs> vandalism. You can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. He was a person? Well, excuse you. I'll have you know Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's graveside fees. Which means he was approved for burial. Which means his papers went through. Which means the town's in the clear. Calm down. No I'm honking. Just with this whole ugly affair yeah. behind me, Eugene can rest his bones in peace. Eugene, and the rest baby. of us can get on with our own lives. Okay, well you suck. So I'll catch you later. Pretty lady, Pavarotti is a hottie. <laughs> it's Parvati. Not Pavarotti. <laughs> Pavarotti's also a hottie. Only you. <laughs> People are just laughing about my Pavarotti. <laughs> Marry the music man. Spacer's choice. It's a hellhole. We have to go talk to Vicar. Well, I gotta talk to Conrad and try to figure out his shit. For Silas. Oh, I. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. You cut your own hair? Damn, girl! Teach me! What the hell? What can I do for you? You gotta... I got some questions for you. Go I need ahead. you to give me some sort of money. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself... How do I get the money from you? I am never wanting for work. Not since the plague started. Who are you? Okay. Who are you? Mad Chris, subscribe to the tier one sub. Maybe if I talk to Silas about it. Let's do this. We'll speak to the vicar again. Thank you, Mad Chris. I've always felt weird. Someone reported that Pavarotti was married, but also had a bunch of affairs, so he was hot to some people. Yeah, everyone's hot to some. Everyone's hot to Any someone. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Ah, Miss Holcomb. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. This here's Vicar DeSoto. 
He's always offering spiritual counsel to those that need yeah, it. Yeah, I met him. Thank you for the kind assessment, Miss Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. We already done did it. We already met. I haven't found your book yet. Please get it. I'm working on it, dog. I got something I want to ask you. What would you like to discuss? But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? He's asked oh, me hobby. to cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has. I can see why that troubles you. Many people will die. Yeah, that does seem troubling. What do you think of Adelaide's group? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the full. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. Well, piss. I'm I leveled up. So at least there's that. I got some some dang on skill points. Uh, what do I need? What do I want? Maybe leadership? Take a couple leadership points. Mm -hmm. Leadership. Dialogue options seem to really be helping you. I have high dialogue though. Okay. My intimidate is very high. Because I put my initial bonus. It's a strong into brows. It's a strong brows, yeah. Probably I could take some more ranged. A couple more in that. A couple more in defense. I think I'm going to leave off of stealth and tech. Okay. And let, leave that for my partners to deal with. Yep, that sounds good. People are suggesting maybe hack, but that's in stealth. Yeah, I think I'm going to focus more on combat and talking. And leadership. That's what I'm going to focus on. So we'll take four points left. We'll take a couple more in dialogue and a couple more in melee. That's what we'll do. Okay. Melee power attacks. Combat dialogue. Great. Runcible saw is very upset that you didn't put two into health and then two into tech, just so you would get the first skill. <laughs> <laughs> so Jacob has to say about that. I can do a next level up. <laughs> so this is gravesite V. What else? What? Quest dependencies. Hold me closer, Pavarotti. Vending machines, combat dialogue, melee power attacks, yeah. What What else is there? Companions. Companion wants to talk. Thanks. Thanks. Parvati. Companion ninja. What do you have? What? Hammer. You got a good hammer? And, a, and you got pistols? Pistols and hammers? What kind of armor you got? I do just want to say we got five minutes left. You got good armor. Time. Five minutes left. I feel like I should go out and do something. I'm going to go out and do something. Let's go to the botanical lab. Big horn d'opera. Excuse me? 
Bighorn. Bighorn Dopra? <laughs> Opera. Oh. Emerald Veil region. <laughs> so Pavarotti or Parvati, who's hotter, Julia? Yeah, these things. Listen, I don't know. Are you there? Yeah. That's Ludwig Miller. Got it. Oh, I can make her go there. <laughs> go over there. A lot of people are trying to guess what they said. Pavarotti, you go over there. <laughs> what is Go, Pavarotti. See? Coming back. Come back. Oh. No. Oh. Damn, girl. I'm fast. What's up, Ludwig Miller? I had to talk to you, right? Or something. Oh! Thank the law. That was a weird slow turn. Yeah, too <laughs> slow. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a Hello, Greta, I was listening to the stand. soundtrack of sure Phantom of the Opera stand. earlier today. Um, I like to sing along. I found this bundle in the laboratory. I think it's yours. It is indeed. And I will thank you to hand it here. You got some quick eyes, what with detecting my carefully hidden cash. Resistance could use your talents. Resistance. Look at his the right ball. ear or his the left arm. Right. Yeah, Man that's great. Versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier, cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. I don't know what you're talking about. Just my luck. I asked for backup, and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Carefully hidden, you just stashed Listen it in the public toilet. Close. Good point. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I see Silver Key Bear wrote, think planet, of me, but then put about, my emoji next to me. <laughs> so instead of this like delicate there, think of me I'm song, it's just, think of me! Think of me! Think of me! No, I'm Where me. will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Run with the gun! If you're resistant to another gun, I'm for hire. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw, a few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. Yeah, pay me. Pay me, daddy. They have sent a scout. Prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. <laughs> Cross it off, then report back. Cross it off. Cross it off. Mage Bird says, Toad sings, fan of the opera. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me graveside fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Best of my favorite fan of the opera song. I'm gonna lie to you, sir. Do it. To get more money. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Here, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. Wow, you just steal one of those dude's stuff. I love to steal Go dude's on. stuff. Uh bye. What if Kermit, Phantom of the Opera. I would be surprised if the Muppets haven't done that already. The Muppets. The Muppets. It's the Muppets. It's the Muppets. Jacob, uh, it's almost time to end the stream. If you want to do something, now's the time. Uh, um, oh my god. Um, uh, 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 like, you want me to do what? What are we great? What are you, what's happening? This is what I have signed up for. Everything's very far away, isn't it? Where's this robot? Where's. It's 152 meters. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill the robot. Go kill the robot. I have to change my gun because I don't have any bullets. <laughs> Let's go. Some lava over there. Is anyone concerned about this? Anyone can anyone drop their lava? Is anybody worried about the lava situation? There's, there seems hey. to be a lava spill. Oh. Hey you. Hey you. 
Candid feral. You were too candid. That was your downfall. Too candid. Oh. Here we Goodbye. Go. Oh, I'll be taking that. Thank you. I'll take that. Take that. Oh, take that. thank you for the meat. Thank you. Oh, so you're dead. Thank you for the meat. You're dead. I'm sorry. Thank you for the candid meat. What's this? What was that? Oh, it's a log about some... Some things. Uh, fine. Some things. I gotta go kill the robot. Go kill the robot. Getting a pistol out. I'm gonna come over here and. Hello. Oh, he's no threat. He's kinda cute. Pavarotti could fix him. Searching Hello. for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Oh. Unable to comply. Oh, he's just I lost. Fix that. I mean, if you want to use it. Parvati, anything you want to do. Parvati, why don't you go ahead and do it? I can't do it because I'm bad at that. I'm bad at tinkering. Yep, I see the problem. His Navmar got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. He's got to give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's Five, good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Well, hello, Optimal Jeremy. Path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Why'd you name the mechanical pop? On account I fixed him, and he's Jeremy on account of his helmet. It's like Jeremy, the officer in True Romantic Tales of the Space Guard. Oh yeah. Is that an Aether Wave cereal or something? Absolutely. Shirley. I make a point to watch every Tuesday night. I have a Be crush on Parvati. There, Jeremy. I love Parvati. <laughs> good job, good job, Jeremy. Oh, you can get the robots and sing opera, Parvati. I'm good gonna job. go back and and talk to Lucius Malfoy again. Lucius, Lucius Malfoy, again with the kid who wants to kill the Potter. Put the gun away so he doesn't get frightened. Lucius Malfoy and the Hello, I did it. Why have you got to turn like that don't, every time? Don't turn around like that. I Why dealt with the scout. Do that? that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables? Ashley Birch really does Actually, don't tell me. voice Rather use my the best magic. characters. Is Ashley Birch Parvati? Yeah. Time's Dope. coming to unwrap that package you delivered me. Which, unbeknownst to you, housed a mighty weapon. Was it Describe knowledge? You give it. This Was it books? This is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. Hand of the law. I call it the hand of the law. Let me have it. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Okay. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon. Oh, and I can customize my weapons. Oh, Pavarotti needs right, a new bring you rifle. The down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. So the only person who doesn't suck in this game so far is Parvati. Yeah, she's the only good one. The only one I care about. And I would do anything for her. You need to get a passcode from the boss. Read top. I've already got the passcode. I've got it. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Okay. You're, you're a crazy man. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact, a real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. You don't have a contact. Edgewater's in the middle of nowhere. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. It's okay. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Goodbye. I guess that's it. Where friend? 
There she is. Hello. Thank you. Where are we headed? We're gonna end on this. Oh my on gosh. Parvati's Parvati. beautiful face. Um, we're out of here. We'll announce the time for the stream Wednesday on the Twitters. Yeah, it'll either be seven to nine or eight to ten. Yeah. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll choose what we want. We'll we'll choose. For we us. do what we want. We do what we want. And we do what you want. Yeah. As that long too. as it's also what we want. Yep. That's the way. That's the way. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks everybody, and we will see you Wednesday. Goodbye. Goodbye.